What's going on y'all? Nathan Rich with Southern Salt Kayak Fishing and today we're going over 10 small items that will fit in just about any hatch on any kayak. Before we get into it, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know I'm going to put all of these products down in the description. So if you want to know more about any of these products, just visit the description and there'll be Amazon links in there. Also support the channel. Make sure y'all hit that like button. If you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to go ahead and dive into it. The first thing on our list is Zeiss lens cleaner this stuff is absolute gold and i always keep it in my kayak and for the obvious reasons are your, your your glasses right we all get out there they start getting fogged up or we get a little bit of salt on them we want to clean our glasses right you can use this for that but some other applications include your fish finder right you get out there you get a little bit of salt spray on that screen you get to where the glare is on it you can't see you need to clean your screen off bam Zeiss lens cleaner will take care of it, squirt it on your screen, wipe it off, and it's nice and clean. If you're running film like I do, it also works on your GoPro lenses. Uh, you're starting to get watermarked, stuff like that. Put a little bit of Zeiss lens cleaner on it, wipe it off, perfectly clean lens. The next item on our list are tech towels, T-E-K towels. Once again, link in the description, right? tech towels these things are awesome they're a little bit on the pricey side for a towel and you don't have to get a tech towel any kind of microfiber towel will work but this thing kind of goes with the first one right if we need to clean off our screen we got a nice clean towel to wipe that down we get a little bit of fish slime on our hands microfiber towels will work now once again it starts raining or you end up you know falling off in the water and you don't want to get your seat sweat in your vehicle you got a towel to lay down in your seat kind of keep your seats from getting wet and just i mean it's just a good all-around towel i mean there's all kinds of functions for towels in your kayak right so tech towels number two all right item number three is none other than bullfrog mosquito repellent and sunstrain now this is a two-in-one of all the there there are multiple two-in-one sprays out there in my opinion bullfrog is the absolute best i mean as far as no seams bull gnats mosquitoes all of that this stuff repels it and you're, you're protecting your skin at the same time from the damage of uv rays and the sun uh, with that being said, us as fishermen, a lot of times we launch before the sun comes up and we don't even think to apply sunscreen. But when the bugs are biting, we do grab some bug spray. So it's good to have some two in one. That way you're making sure you're protected both ways. Number three. All right, getting into item number four, it's a good pair of cutters. Okay, wire cutters, bolt cutters, whatever you want to call them, right? These are multi-use crimps and cutters but don't get it mistaken these have one purpose and it ain't cutting line it ain't cutting braid it's for cutting hooks now it's not a matter of if it happens it's when it happens as kayak anglers we're in close proximity to a lot of treble hooks and different stuff fish shaking hooks around and when you get that hook stuck in your hand your foot your leg or wherever else and you need to push that hook through and cut the barbs you need a good pair of cutters to be able to cut the barbs off that hook and get that hook out of you. So number four is none other than a good pair of cutters. Now item number five is for cutting braid and line, okay? Now these are the Boomerang retractable cutters. I mean, you see right here, I actually got one on my kayak right now, okay? Um, now they're not gonna last forever, but they will get a solid six months to a year out of a use now it's real cool because i can attach these to my seat i can attach it anywhere on my kayak got a retractable lanyard i'm not leaving them or losing them somewhere um, and these are the best thing for cutting braid uh, which is inshore anglers a lot of us are using braid nowadays i definitely recommend having a good pair of boomerang cutters item number six a good multi-tool now you can get you a good pair of pliers, but I'm recommending a multi-tool, okay? A lot of us are using 
higher end kayaks nowadays that have moving pieces like mirage drives and rudders and and all kinds of stuff from nuts and bolts that hold our seats together and if you get out there on the water like i have and and notice that a nut or a bolt's getting loose on my seat or my drive's a little loose on my hobie pro angler or anything like that i need to have a tool an all-in-one tool because i can't keep it all big old tool bag on this kayak i need something that has a screwdriver has a flathead phillips head a good pair of pliers a knife whatever i need to be able to get in there and make repairs on the fly to get me back to the boat ramp so number six is none other than a good multi-tool now with that multi-tool okay if i left this in here like it is right now it's going to rust it's not going to work so i need to make sure i keep this thing oiled and keep it in a good uh, Ziploc container or some sort of waterproof container so I'm not pulling this out and it's just locked up and rusted. Boom. All right, y'all, getting on to number seven, and that is a good seamstress tape. Okay, now why would you need a seamstress tape? How many times have y'all launched and got out there and went fishing and realized, crap, I left my freaking measuring board in my truck, right? If you keep this in your hatch, you'll always have something for you to be able to measure your fish, but more importantly, and on a side of conservation, okay? We get out there and we catch that fish of a lifetime. You catch that 30 inch trout or the 28, 29 inch flounder. You know, um, traditionally people would harvest that flounder, that trout, take it to a taxidermist and have it mounted. But with today's technology, uh, especially new wave taxidermy, which is somebody that's taking care of one of my trout right now, all you have to do is get a picture of a good measurement, measure it long ways, measure the girth, send it into them, and you can have a replica made off of just measurements. And you just get to release that fish for somebody else to catch, and so that fish can produce its offspring and continue that genetic uh, line on down the chain. Now. You don't, if you can't find a retractable, you can go to Dick Sporting Goods or anywhere else and you can just find a real quick seamstress tape like that right there. But I do recommend a retractable. They're just easier to manage, especially once you open it out of your package. <clears throat> Moving on along to number eight. Now we're going to a side of safety, all right? It's an air horn. God almighty, that was loud. Air horns, okay? Have an air horn. Um, this past January, I was in my kayak and I happened to flip it. And I had a whistle on me, I had everything on me, I had my life jacket inflated, and my buddy Sean Rigby's right down the way, I'm blowing my whistle and he can't hear me and I needed help. As a matter of fact, I was straddled on the top of my kayak. Had I had an air horn, he would have been able to get to me a little bit quicker uh, and, and just, you know, not everybody hears a whistle. Air horns, you know, you just need one on your kayak. Um, you got boats and stuff with motors going and people running by. Not everybody's gonna hear a whistle. This right here, I can guarantee you, they're gonna hear you across the bayou. And you don't have to get one of the big ones. This is a small one, $5 uh, at Dick Sporting Goods or any marine store should have air horns. But yeah, number eight, air horn. Keeping with the theme of safety and moving on to number nine is the PAL Plus Nebo, okay? This is a multiple device tool uh, that serves as a really bright flashlight. So if I'm out there at night and I need somebody to see me, I got a really bright beam flashlight, but more importantly, I have a cell phone charger. How many of y'all have been out there on the water and looked down at your phone just to realize that it's about to die or it's already dead, okay? If something happens, our cell phones are our lifelines and being able to have something on the water to charge that phone is essential. So the PAL Plus Nebo, nice flashlight, nice phone charger, and as a bonus, it does have a blade on it as a knife to be able to, to do anything that you may need. If you don't have a knife and you need one, bam, you got it right there. And lastly on the list, keeping with that charging of your cell phone or electronics, okay? We got a real cheap solar powered device to charge your phone, okay? So if this guy right here is dead because we forgot to charge this and the phone, bam, I have something that I can set out in the sun let it charge my phone 
to be able to make that call to get some help out to me or whatever the case may be check in with the wife let her know everything's going great charge my phone bam okay and i'm gonna once again put this down in the description so y'all can go on there and check these out all right y'all so that's the top 10 items to keep in your hatch okay if you have any suggestions of things that you would put in here let me know let me know what y'all would keep in your hatch and uh as always like the video if you like it subscribe if you haven't already and in between time tight lines god bless we'll see y'all next time